She's absolutely magnificent. The best bunch of blokes you ever want to win a premiership with. Absolutely fantastic. Number two, one loss. In the 96 grand final, the, the, the moment the siren went was the realisation of a boyhood dream. But the paradox of that whole experience was that that particular joyous occasion, it was probably one of my lowest ebbs too because I was clinically depressed and really struggling with it. As good as 96 was, uh, I hated the person that I was. I was living a lie, spending all of my waking hours making sure that everybody else around me uh, thought that I was okay. I would get in as late as I could, put my bag down, go in to the medical room, ball my eyes out, find the courage to go out and compete. I don't know how I did it. I was scared to tell people. I was ashamed, I was embarrassed. I was playing the game I loved. I grew up on this game. I didn't want to lose those opportunities. I didn't want to lose friendships. I didn't want to lose family. I didn't want to lose any of that, so I didn't say anything. One of the hardest challenges is the stigma that comes with a mental illness. I was frightened of what people would think, so I consciously chose to not say anything for 15 years because I was more concerned about what people would think about me and what I was dealing with. The biggest thing that I ever did for myself was own up, become honest, accept the situation, bring those closest to me into what I was dealing with, and I've got my life back. When I did tell my family and the, my closest male mates, I didn't lose them. This is an incredibly difficult and insidious type of illness that you can deal with, but at the same time, if you get help and you ask for help earlier, you can still have a very productive and enjoyable life. If I had my time again, I would unashamedly put my hand up and I would ask for help. I'd stop bullshitting myself and I'd accept the fact that I had an issue and I needed to do something about it. If you or your mate is having a tough time, 